funny story. Actually, Nike had its own sort of pedometer, which was which a bracelet form factor, mm -hmm. um, which they made for about three years, and then um, basically they they closed it down, and everybody moved to work on the Apple Watch instead. And the Nike technology is integrated pretty deeply into the Apple Watch. So it's a thing that I used for a while that was really cool looking and really technological, and I, it looked like a black bracelet, and then when you press the button, it would light up, um, it, and it had the time on it and stuff. It was, it was actually really cool. And, and oh, yeah, yeah. From no, a, a, a design Design sense, here. it's a very sexy um, product. But it was also really terrible. Um, like, the button stopped buttoning twice on the one that I had, and a lot of people had charging issues, so it was not a robust product. Um, but I liked it. So it's measuring how, how many steps it was, you take? It was measuring how many steps I took, the intensity of it, that, that sort of general activity level. And of course, because it's a bracelet, it does a really bad job at cycling. It does a really bad job if you're swimming. Um, and of course, it didn't do anything like heart rate that, right. that the, the more robust products do now. Um, and it told you the time, and it kept Scores for you. Was it, it was a heavily gamified experience. Yeah, it was way gamified. Yeah. yeah. So it would tell you, you know, your your score for the week and for the month, and if you were doing better or worse than you had done before. So if you had a record day, then you broke the game, basically. Any other questions? Well, I have a an app, and I I think it is sort of similar to what Tobias is talking. export that as an XML file to Google Drive, send it off via email to my doctor, get back an answer, all right, go back to your previous medication. Yeah. These are bad numbers. Uh, so, you know, with that, you know, now with atrial fibrillation, and you know, it's just, my life is dominated by numbers now. Yeah, yeah. You know, I am frequent flyer to get blood drawn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know, but that's my life now. Yeah. No, no, I, well, that's what you're talking about, which is specific solves, you know, not generalized. And, and so there's, I, I love, I love specific use case scenarios because I think that's where the, that's where apps come in, come in valuable. Mm -hmm. In fact, the reason I like the Fitbit is that it's way less gamified. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a lot more just very simple, like, here's what you've done. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, and here's your heart rate, you know, and, and here's where you ran during the day, and it's all just kind of, you know, it, it, it does have some gamified elements in it, and what's great is that I can actually click those screens and get rid of them, which, because I'm not interested in, I don't, yeah. the, the, the Nike Fuel Band made up score, I'm like, I don't care if I get 6,000 moves, all I care about is the number of steps in my heart rate, mm -hmm. you know, and that's of use to me. I mean, uh, it's funny because uh, at one point, Nike did a terrible, terrible thing, and they changed the algorithm that they used to calculate their proprietary Nike fuel. Yeah. So suddenly all of my old data was worthless, and I didn't know what a reasonable goal per day was. When you when you first got a Nike fuel band out I of the box, it. they told you 2,000 per day is a rational, like reasonably active person, and then yeah. they wouldn't tell you what a reasonable range was with the, the new one, and, and that's actually, that's why I stopped using my yeah, no, end completely, I, because any value it had, yeah. any utility had been completely erased because I no longer had a benchmark. We can talk about value data numbers? portability. Let's <laughs> 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 really nerd out. Did you end up choosing, kind of wanting to be over another, like, I don't want to swim or cycle because it doesn't count, right? Did you I, I, I have had that, yeah, yeah. Where, where I'm like, well, I could go for a walk now, like a sucker, and, <laughs> and it wouldn't matter. I may as well not have done it. Ignoring That's that right, the reality the actual of actual walking, game which game is the so. good thing. But There's because my, my Nike Fuel Band had run out of battery, it was not worth even... Wow. The other day I saw uh, there's an artist who creates these, you know, fancy contraptions that are designed to take your Fitbit mm -hmm. and then you do something to it so it makes it yeah. as if you walked it as many steps as you want. Yeah, so basically it helps you cheat the yeah, system. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> I, I will have to admit, I did have a minor existential crisis. The old Fitbit um, delaminated and the rubber was all coming off. And they have great customer service, so I called them and they're like, oh, we're sending you a new one. 
And I was like, do I have to send this one in first? <laughs> like, can, you know, like I was really nervous. <laughs> and they're like, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll, we'll just send it to you and you throw the other one in the trash. I was like, thank you, because I don't want to miss like one, now that I have the daily log there, I, I really love, well, I mean, uh, I love seeing things in the fact that like, you know, my resting heartbeat is no longer in the mid 80s since I started working out, but it's, it's like 71, oh, you know? Wonderful. So it's like, okay, obviously I'm getting healthier, you know? And so I'm just like, I don't want to, I don't want a day's gap of data mm -hmm. that, yeah. for, the rest, for the next year, I'll be like, hmm. You had a question? Yeah, um, here's something I don't know about. I, I know very little about health apps. And I don't have a Fitbit or whatever, but, are these companies like Nike and so forth? Clearly, they're storing a bunch of data. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I imagine they have some kind of uh, privacy thing so that uh, the, the government doesn't know how many steps you're taking. <laughs> you like to believe so? <laughs> yeah, I think but that. at the same time, if they have all the data, they're probably data mining it, maybe anonymized for their own purposes. Absolutely, it's not even anonymized. anonymized. Right. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. So there's some yeah. new marketing information, right? So when yeah. you, when I, I, what are the big data yeah. a, a aspects of this, and, and what are the surprising uh, big data aspects of this of, of having all this physical? So an stuff anecdote, an anecdote I tell is is uh, we were I, I was just reading an article about um, a coffee uh, or um, yeah it, it, there uh, it was like a uh, a coffee um, automated it was a Wi-Fi connected coffee pot mm -hmm. and. Um, they, the, the people who made it were like, we started, we, we built these servers and we started collecting all this data about how our, how our clients were making coffee and when. Mm -hmm. And we just don't have a freaking clue what to do with it. But mm -hmm. since we started collecting it, we just keep doing it. <laughs> like, we know amazing things about when people in Portland automatically set their coffee maker to work. Mm -hmm. And we know how much water they use and we know how often they change it. But what is the point of all this? Mm -hmm. We're not really sure yet. Yeah. There's a myth of big data that if you have a lot of information, it must therefore surely be useful for something. Mm -hmm. But that's not true. Yeah. Sometimes a lot of data doesn't actually help you to discover anything worth We've knowing. discovered that lots of people like coffee. In the morning. Well, it's it's morning. useful to yeah. know. Whoa. Are you, are you, are you, are you <laughs> make you know whatever useful to Nike? Yeah, well, the flip side is, right, so when you stop using your Nike Fuel product, you start getting, you know, coupons or pizzas, right? The, yeah. Where the, yeah, the, <laughs> where the, you know, where that line stops. Or, uh, even a worse scenario, say Nike gets hacked and that information is now public sector, right. and then your health insurance goes up because you are right. liable. Right.